TRX Slash 101 here and today I have quite the announcement to make. You may be able to see, but that is a new body and I'm going to be showing you how to paint it with Plasti Dip. So the colors I chose for this were black and blue. So then I did a quick test, it should look something like that. That's really bad because I only did one coat and then I backed it with black. And uh, it's going to look pretty good. So I'm going to start by um, taping the design on with this green painter's tape. And then I'm going to see, uh, get to the painting. Okay, so here is what I did. So, I have the body here. I have my design painted on like this. I have the window masks that the body came with. I uh, put this blue shop towel on the bottom because uh, it's going to take a really long time to tape the whole bottom. So I figured it'd just be quicker to go like that. And uh, let's get to the painting. I'm going to start with the blue on the front. So before I get painting, I need to shake this for one whole minute. Uh, as soon as the little clicky thing inside starts, but it's already clicking. So I'm just going to shake it for a minute real quick and then start putting on the first coat. Alright, so I've shaken this for one minute and I'm going to put on the first coat. So it's just going to be nice and light. Okay, so it says uh, to wait 30 minutes approximately between every single coat. So uh, I'm going to clean this out here real quick. So what you do is you shake it and hold it upside down for a few seconds till it starts blowing air. There, now it's clean so then it won't plug while I go to take the next coat because that would be unfortunate. Okay, so I'm here for my second coat. So I'm just going to shake this can back up and I'm going to get to painting. All right, so I got the can all shaked up. We're gonna do layer two now. So I'm back for my third and final coat of blue. So I'm just going to be touching up the edges now and I'm just going to shake the can up and then I'll get back to painting. Alright, so the can's all shaken up, so now I'm going to do this coat here. Here's the final coat of blue.
All right, so now I'm gonna get the black going. So I gotta shake this one. Then I'm just gonna spray over this big thing here. So uh, I'll shake it and remove some of the other pieces of tape and uh, not the window masks. I want the windows to be clear. So yeah, let's get to shaking and uh, see you in a minute. Okay, so I got the black all shaken up and I got all the stickers that I put on removed and uh, yeah, let's uh, spray this coat on. The first coat of black, so I guess it's going to be fairly light at the back. Okay, so here's the body. It's all finished painting. I took the tape off, put on the stickers, took off the window masks, and uh, yeah, it looks really good. Uh, I took it for a test drive, got it scratched up nicely, got some dirt on it. It's uh, working great, so it is the Plasti Dip is sticking very good. Like, I mean, if you tried, you could get it off, but if not, I think you're doing fine. If you have mud flaps on your car for the back, I think it'll help keep the stones from coming up and possibly taking off the Plasti Dip. The windows aren't completely clear, but I mean, they're good. I like the clear windows. It's a lot better than the uh, stock body with the just the black windows. Then for drilling the holes, there was little dents in there, and then you could pick a dent where the body holder would be. So then you could just drill it on one of the holes. So then I drilled all the holes on, put the last bit of stickers. And uh, yeah, it looks great. I did accidentally smudge it here. But oh well, looks great. I'm really happy with my first paint job. And um, if you enjoyed this video, please share it, like it, and uh, maybe leave a sub. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.